My car got broken into right in front of the school. So I leave the school right here because we're about to go eat at this place that closes at three o'clock. And as I run out of the school to go get my cell phone to check if it's in the car, I notice a kid standing right here and looking at my friend's car that was double parked here. I noticed the kid lean against my friend's car pretending like he's looking at his cell phone and he tried to pull on the knob. I tell my friend what happened and then we see the kid cross the street and then he crossed back and he went right towards my car and checked to see if my car door was open. And he walked inside because my dumb self didn't lock the button. I'm like, man, stop playing. He's like, no, I'm serious. He's in your car. That's when I ran out of the school and as I was running towards the, the, my car, I saw the little light that's right by the rear view mirror. I saw, I noticed that it was on and that only meant that the door was open and just closed. So I ended up opening up my back door and he freaks out. I ended up grabbing his wrist here and grabbing over his shoulder and I yanked him out of the car. Hard. I dropped my knee straight to his sternum and I pinned his wrist. He tried pushing me off, I pinned it to my chest. Man. I had so many, I was gonna smack him. I thought about recording and filming and telling me record recorded situation. Man, I started patting him down. Man, this is when I realized I wasn't in, in, in any danger. So this is when I ended up telling him to relax and calm down. All you have to do is just stop moving, I'll let you go. I told him he can get up. I started talking to him, started to get to know him. We ended up calling the cops over and uh, ended up pulling him up. You know, I inked him up, walked him to the police. We, the situation the cop threw him in the cop car and this is what i told the cop i do not want to press charges he seems like a, a, a young kid that just made a bad decision let's just scare him a little bit they're like but we have to make a report so they made a report just to show that if he were to do this again it's documented to be honest with you in the back of my head i just wanted to go eat i wanted to make sure that i almost let him go before the cops came because i wanted to go eat <laughs> half of it was my fault you know i should have locked my door but i didn't i was i ran back maybe God sent him to my door to calm him down and scare him straight. I don't know. Punched him. Uh, I could have heard him. I could have recorded him. Put him viral on the internet. But for what? What are the intentions behind it? To get some extra likes on Facebook and Instagram. And now this kid can't even get a job. He's a laughing stock at school. I hope that this video can help you guys. And you guys get encouraged to play Jiu-Jitsu sometime. We'll learn it. Help me.